Next president must do the opposite of what President Buhari is doing to Nigerians, Northern Group. The Northern Elders Forum, NEF, has conveyed that the next president must emerge in 2023, um, must do the opposite of what President Buhari is doing to Nigerians. In an exclusive interview on Arise TV morning show, the publicity secretary of NEF, Akim Baba Ahmed, said that the next president must be a Nigerian rather than someone who would divide the country along ethnic lines that is true i mean buhari has proven to be very much pro fulani and anti everything else so i'm like you can't be pro fulani but your but your position of ob- you're obliged your position makes you obliged to every citizen of the country for you to take care of them so yeah um ahmed baba who was speaking on the debate of a southern presidency said the perception that a president is from the south or the north is dangerous to the development of the country, he noted that the, that the North is not against the emergence of a Southern president, rather clam, clamoring for a president who would bring the country together rather than divide the country further. This kind of divisive politics is not helping Nigeria, that the president must emerge in 2023 must be a Nigerian president, that our position, it is very dangerous to ethnicize and regionalize this. It's true. Because I think, say what you want, yes, the Igbos are being marginalized, definitely. And of course, with the foundations of the Biafran War, that literally set set the tone, set the president, set the atmosphere for how, you know, Biafrans were going to be treated. Um, and that is just really it. But I just think, it's just shady and such on our own level. How can your standard be for a president that he's from a, a certain region? Like, just be honest. You want to give the South the opportunity to embezzle funds. That is it. Be honest. We know. He continues and says, if you can have a Southern part of the country that would be a truly Nigerian president um, that will present the South, Middle Belt, and the North, or whatever, every, every citizen of the country... Equally um, and faithfully and do the opposite of what President Buhari appears to have done. That's to cause the problem of our diversity, um, alienate a huge group of problem of people from different parts of the country, divide the country. What we need is a unifying president, a president that would treat this country as one constituency. And how do how does a president prove that to us? Because again, I I don't even know what 2015 campaign was like. I, I, I've literally forgotten. But did Buhari do any presidential debates? Like, was he asked questions by the public? Um, Did he, like... like Because the standard is really so low. Like, I, I just think that... We, we're, we're starting from scratch again. I, I, th- I don't know. Except something magical happens. But we're really starting from scratch. The standard is so low that... As a first, in my opinion, the standard for a president now is that you're eloquent in speaking good English and you can communicate. Like, like this is literally the bare minimum, the barest of the barest minimum to just be able to live, let alone be a president. Our president does not do that. We want a president that is proactive. I don't care what his opinion is. The fact that you're proactive in keeping the people updated I'm not even saying look for solutions. Just keeping the people updated, telling them that I am aware. We're talking about the bare minimum. We haven't even gone into what he's obliged to do as a president. But just being aware and proactive. It, emergency could happen. In the next 24 to 48 hours, we need a statement. We need a live conference. You don't wait six months. You don't endorse. You don't use our funds and endorse other, other countries, you know, places. It doesn't work. This is the barest, barest minimum. And then what is it again? Just have a non-corrupt government. I don't know. I think one thing we need to do, I don't know how, we have to make a system of accountability. I'm so sorry. Things go on. Like, it's just the lack of respect. And and, and, I, and it's just like, I think we need to just go back, go back to the scratch. And Nigerians just need to show, like, Nigerians have passed, we've gone beyond the point of, well, I expect, you know, expectations are the root of disappointment. But still, I expect the Nigerians have gone past this phase of, you know, of just, 
ignoring sen all the sentiments and affiliations and all that and letting things slide and just allowing for mediocrity like we actually need to stop okay we're talking about our present and our futures right here right now so it's like it sounds so bad but because of the way the country underestimates its citizens it just shows in the way they carry themselves in the way they the, the violence in their oh my gosh let's not even get into the speech of politicians all the south you know, I'd say the, the Imo state governor, the appointed state governor, Femi Adeshino, and the president himself. There's and even more people, even even irrelevant institutions that are not even part of the government, aka Magban, Mietiala, all I'm like even unconstituted authorities are having the temerity and the boldness to speak on issues with such vim on the on the on the on the on, on the what on, on the thing that okay fine they're backed up by the government it doesn't make sense so it's like the standards are just so low whoever it is going to be yes i do agree with this man it should not be a thing of oh um we regionalize or you know make it an ethnic thing it, it shouldn't be so i'm now like will 2023 elections even happen because apc seems to have um planned themselves and strategically position themselves in any in any body that is meant to be independent <laughs> okay Anik. um and chief of army star like a lot of key positions in terms of the the mechanics of the country are being held by people in apc even the electoral commission the independent nigerian national electoral commission INEC, basically um one of the committees loretta onoche has been proven to be an active member of the apc so how do we control these things we just need that respect back they, they don't respect us they don't even respect us enough to to basically like be scared of how we are going to react to certain things they just give it to us like it's there like you know deal with it and it's very very sad and very very disrespectful imagine imagine they literally like they don't even try. I'm not saying they should, but like to show how much we're disrespected as Nigerians, like they don't even try to to hide loopholes in their lies. Even when they try to lie to us, it, they just lie. Honestly, the mediocrity has to just stop. I think that's all. I think that's literally like the the whole. That's literally like the whole. Um. I don't. I, just, I don't know. That's the that's the only that's the only thing we can say, but I'm just saying I just need to be hot headed, as in scare the government. We've gone past the point of trust and all that. They need to respect us by force, by fire, or they are because they when we put them in positions, they need to understand that the power lies in the people, and if they do anyhow, they will see anyhow. Put what you think about it in the comment section below. Don't forget to like and subscribe.